Hello. This video attempts to show how telescope aperture affects resolution in the image. Please try to watch in full screen if you can. Here we're looking through a tiny telescope. First we look at what we know to be a quadruple star system in our 50mm telescope at 10 times magnification. The star should be a point of light but the telescope can only show a tiny dot. Let's zoom in to 100 magnification. We just see a bigger single dot. So let's zoom in again to 200 magnification. We're going to stay on 200 for a while now. We see the dot is getting bigger, but there is no more detail. The telescope can show nothing smaller than this dot. Let's increase the diameter to 60 millimeters. Now the dot the telescope can produce is smaller and a little brighter. We can also see that there is another unresolved component. If we increase to a 70 mm diameter telescope, we see the second star begin to emerge as the star disks get smaller and apparently brighter. Let's have a look through an 80 mm telescope image. We clearly see the two stars and there's a hint that there is another. What happens if we increase the magnification to 300? Can we resolve this star? No, we just make the image bigger. To see that, we need a bigger telescope still. Here's the 100mm view. Now you can see the third star. They were there all at the beginning, but the telescope couldn't show them because the star images are produced are too big. So let's now increase to a 130mm telescope. Now those points are getting pretty small and we can see yet another star appearing as a bump at the bottom of the central star. The stars are the same relative brightness, but the main star is quite bright in the telescope now. In the 150mm telescope, all four of the stars are separate and clear. There is no more detail to be had in this multiple star view. The 200mm telescope shows the stars brighter than the 150mm, but no telescope can show the true star disk. They are point sources and you need a bigger telescope to show detail and resolve double stars. This video is part of my telescope buying guide. Choosing your first telescope for astronomy complete essentials.